You too. What's going on? Kyle again from E Pool Supply. Today we are back for some quick fix videos for you guys on Pentair's Great White Suction Side Pool Cleaner. We're going to dive in and show you guys how to tear this thing apart. Stay tuned. All right, guys, and we're back. So again, today we've got Pentair's Creepy Crawly Great White Suction Side Pool Cleaner. We're going to show you guys how to do some quick fixes. As you guys can see, we've already kind of torn down the cleaner down to the shroud and the main body. So if you guys want to know how we got down to this, make sure you guys check out the playlist and the links in the description. We'll have videos taking it apart from the outside in for you guys. So based off of the part that you're looking for, you guys can definitely check out that playlist. Uh, for today's video, I want to show you guys how to actually remove the entire bumper, bumper assembly. So previous videos, I've shown you guys how to remove the actual bumper inserts. Those are crucial to the bumper assembly, but you don't actually need to remove the bumper assembly in order to get access to those. So if you guys are dealing with that, make sure you guys check out the links in the description so that way you guys can figure out how to remove those properly and quickly. But once you guys have actually removed the shroud, which the bumper assembly is attached to the shroud, now it's time to flip it back over and start removing the actual entire bumper assembly. So located right here on the inside of the shroud, which you cannot see these screws or you cannot get access to these screws until you've actually physically removed the internal workings to be able to remove the bumper here. So as you know, this bumper is going to take all of the hits and the abuse as it flies around and it buzzes around the bottom of your pool, um, gets kicked, whatever it may be. So this is important to make sure that you guys have this in working condition. So if you guys need to remove it, really simple, locate these two screws after you remove the top shroud. You're going to use the uh, Phillips head screwdriver that we've used in some of our previous videos. The good thing about this cleaner is it's pretty minimal maintenance and you really only need one tool to do a lot of repairs. So always keep a, uh, a Phillips head screwdriver or flathead around in order to be able to get these out. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these two top screws for you guys and show you how the bumper simply falls off. So bear with me as I remove it. So again, we always recommend using hand tools when you guys are doing removing. I, it's okay if you want to use a drill because obviously you're not putting any kind of torque or pressure on the actual plastic by removing it. Um, but once you uh, are looking to reset your screws, you definitely want to make sure that you guys do not use a power drill as it can break them or crack them and cause a lot more repair damage down the line. So. Really simple, these screws are very similar size to the six screws used to take off the shroud. So again, it'll be okay if those get mixed up. They will still fit when you guys put this back together. There's not really much of a difference between those screws. So it's okay if you guys get the short screws mixed up. But once you remove those two screws, you guys can see here is your shroud. It is just a basic piece of plastic. This is very, very important to the functionality of the cleaner. Cause obviously if you do not have this on, you cannot connect, nothing else is gonna to stay together. So this definitely does need to get maintained and replaced often. We would probably say about every other season, you're gonna be looking at replacing the shroud. Sometimes you can get a few more years out of it if your chem chemical composition is really well in your pool. So, but from the sun and chlorine, it definitely eats at this plastic, changes the color, um, tends to make it very brittle. So to make sure that this cleaner is optimally working for you guys, you wanna make sure that you replace this part. So. Again, if you guys are interested in this, make sure you guys check out the links in the description. We've got all these items available for you guys to purchase directly on our website. But I just wanted to show you guys how to remove the physical bumper assembly from the shroud. So then that way you guys can go ahead and get this thing back up to a pristine condition back into your pool. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you guys subscribe. We're gonna have a whole playlist on tearing this thing apart. Till then, Kyle from Me Pool Spy, and we'll see you next time.